Okay, hopefully the audio is a little bit better in this video. I just recorded the first few videos for this uh, series, and I accidentally at some point must have checked the microphone boost on my system, and that always makes things staticky, so I apologize for that. Hopefully, with it off and the volume set properly, you guys can still hear me, and there's not as much static. Um, so today, we're going to be looking at mounting partitions from within an image file. Uh, we've been working with a lot of different uh, file system compressions and images, and uh, mounting a basic image file is simple. But an image file can contain more than one partition, at which point you need to tell your mount command where these partitions are. Now there's tools out there, and a long time ago in a, I think in one of my ARM videos in the ARM series, I showed you how to use a tool that I think was part of uh, uh, QMU, that's how you say it. that's how I say it, um, the uh, emulator, the uh, virtual machine, and it will create virtual uh, devices that you can mount. But there's other ways you can do it. Today we're going to be using an image from uh, the Ping Pong, uh, Ping Pong, Peng Pod project. Uh, it's a tablet that's uh, designed uh, to boot not only Android, but other distributions of Linux as well. I did a short series on it. Well, I just downloaded its latest image of Linux. Uh, it's, I put it inside a folder here called PengPod. And you can see it's a tarred, uh, .gz file. So the first thing we need to do is we need to unzip it and untar it. By that, we'll use the tar command, dash x, z, f, and the name of our file. Hit enter and give it a few seconds. Um, it's going to uncompress to, I think, about a gig and a half uh, from a file that's a couple hundred megabytes. So the original file is 338 megabytes compressed. It uncompresses to 1.2. Um, a lot of that is probably just empty space inside that uh, that uh, part or that um, image there, so that you have stuff to work with there, um, and that's why it can compress so well. Uh, so let's go ahead, and now that we have that file, let's do a file command on our PingPod image. And by the way, you can get that by going to the PingPod website and going to their wiki. And you can see that it says it's a x86 boot sector. Now, that is the first portion, basically the bootloader of that image. But there are multiple partitions. There's actually two partitions within this image. The first partition is going to hold a bootloader and the kernel, because this is an ARM device, and ARM devices boot differently than a standard desktop um, uh, computer. <laughs> it, um, the kernel on an ARM image usually is not within the file system. It's usually on its own separate uh, little uh, partition. So that's why, and we're going to be looking at different ways. There's different ways of doing this. And we're going to be looking at a lot of different examples in these coming tutorials. Um, but how do you know what partitions are there and how to mount them? Well, first, a simple tool which you will have on your system called fdisk. We'll say uh, sudo fdisk or as root fdisk. Dash L, that will just list the partitions, and we will give it the image file. And you can see, you know, let me shrink down the text here a little bit and run it again. Yeah, I was hoping to make it easier to read. A little bit smaller, try again. Yeah, I have the text bumped up on this system uh, so that you guys can see it better in the video, but it makes things stagger on different lines. But here and on your system, you'll be, it'll be easier for you to read. It shows that there's two partitions. One is a FAT32 LBA uh, partition, and the other one is a Linux partition. And the FAT32 is the one containing the kernel and the bootloader information, and the Linux one is a ARM file system. Uh, but still, how do we mount them? Is that we need to find the offset. We need to find basically uh, in um, in bytes where those uh, sectors start or those partitions start. So we're going to say sudo and we're going to use a command called parted, which if not already installed will be in your repositories. Just search for it. And we are going to give it the image name. And now we're within parted. And what we're going to type is we're going to type uh, unit. And it says unit compact. It's going to ask us and we're going to say bytes, capital B there. 
and I am going to say now print. And in bytes, it's going to tell us where each partition starts, and that's what we need to know. So now we can hit Q to get out of there. And now we can just use our mount command with an offset option. So I'm going to say sudo. Oh, first let's make some directories to mount to. So I'm going to make a directory, I'll call it part 1, and another directory called part 2 for partition 1 and partition 2. So there we are, we have two empty folders. Now I can sudo mount dash o loop comma offset equals. And now we can take our information from the start there without the B, put it there. Now we give it our image name and we will tell it where we want to mount it. And we'll say part one. Now if I list what's inside the folder part one, you can see that we have a U image, which is the kernel image, and then we have our other files that have to do with the bootloader. Um, so now let's mount the other partition. We'll say sudo mount, and we will say dash O, loop, comma, offset, no spaces in there, equals, and again we'll grab the information from our second partition there without the B, uh, and we'll say offset that much inside our ping pod image and we'll say partition to our part two. Now I can list inside part two right there is the file system. So I could go in there and modify those files because it's mounted and it is mounted as right. Both partitions are. They're both limited on space so obviously we can't without resizing those partitions add more than what's in there. But I can go in there I can create files, air files. I won't be able to do a direct chur root into there since this is a ARM file system. There are ways around that. Uh, you can do kind of a cross uh, architecture chur root, which we'll get into in future tutorials. But I can go in there and I can create files, I can copy files, I can delete files. Um, I can extract stuff out of there if I wanted. And then I can just sudo umount to unmount both part one and part two. Both of those are unmounted. And then I can just copy that image over to my SD card, put it in my tablet, and it will boot with those changes. So, uh, let's look at another way of getting our offsets. Still using the parted command, but instead of going straight into there, by doing this and hitting enter, sudo parted in our image, we can just say dash ms. Um, the m, I'm trying to remember, I think that's just setting type of output. I, I'm sorry, I don't really remember what m stands for, but put it in there. s means don't ask the user for any input, just run this. And then we can say unit b and p, just like we were in there. We ran a unit command and told it. Uh, what units we want and then we can say uh, print that information when we hit enter uh, it printed out our first partition this is where it starts and size and type and any flags it has and same for the second partition so we can grab this number which is the same as our offset before you can see up here and this, this is our offset for partition 2 so that's a quick way, if you wanted to script this out, you can use uh, cut and grep to grab that information and automatically mount whatever partitions are in there. Or if you're just doing this, you can type that out rather than going into the program. Uh, either way, you're probably typing about the same amount. Um, so that's it. Uh, so you can have image files with multiple partitions in them. And in fact, when you're working with ARM systems, you're pretty much always going to have that. Uh, because, as I said, the kernel is usually in its own separate partition, and there might be other partitions for other portions of the boot process separate from the file system. So that's why if you ever download firmware for a router or phone or like uh, some sort of security camera, any type of ARM device that you can get the firmware from, it will have multiple partitions in there. Now, not all of them are this straightforward, but we're going to look at different styles 
uh, and different ways of extracting. Some will be compressed into um, squash file systems, s which we've played with. Um, and th there's just different ways that they do it. And sometimes you think you understand it and you got it for one uh, device, then you move on to another device and they have it com set up completely different. Hopefully with this series, you'll be able to um, learn enough to get past those with most of these images that you might get for different devices. Um, we'll also look at creating and formatting our own empty images that we can put files into, as well as creating and formatting images with separate partitions if you wanted to create an image like this with different partitions. Um, so that's it. Again, this is part of a series. There should be an annotation on the screen to the full playlist. I really hope the audio came out good in this video and I don't have to re-record it because uh, I just don't have time to do that. Um, check out the annotation for the playlist. A new video every Monday, so if you get to a point in the playlist where you can't get access the next video, wait till next Monday. It'll be posted then. Um, be sure to like these videos if you're liking these topics. Uh, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos. Visit my website, filmsbychris.com. There should be a link in the description. That's Chris with a K. And I hope that you have a great day. <laughs>